Hello, back at it again with another episode of Extreme School Makeovers. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, as you've seen in the previews, we got another playground. Yeah, uh, this playground is totally overgrown. Um, if you've seen last week's video, uh, it's a playground that's uh, on the other side of the school that's totally overgrown for the kids and stuff like that and the uh, kids for the school and the kids for the community. Uh, it's totally overgrown. Um, and it's just, you know, in bad shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take care of what needs to be taken care of. And it seems like the play area where they do like their, uh, uh, what do you call it, like the hopscotch and the double dutch and uh, all of that stuff, it's just totally overgrown too as well. So I'm gonna clear this park a lot out. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So with the playground area, all of this grass that's up in here, I'm gonna just do like I did the other one and just weed whack it down. And uh, I'm not doing no digging, I'm not doing, I'm just gonna maintain it so they can come in and they can play until they do further things uh, with it, like putting playground chips down for the kids in the, in, in the uh, community or whatever. Uh, this walkway area is just totally overgrown. Like this parking lot area, it's just totally, totally overgrown. Uh, that's the school up there up there so they come out the school and they come down the steps and uh i guess they play or they don't use this side or whatever the case may be so um like here uh there's you know like a a little play thing here but the numbers had faded it's another you know hopscotch or you know whatever i, I forgot the name of the stuff that they that we used to play back in the day, like hopscotch, and they got another one right here that's going all the way around like a question mark. Uh, they got a big circle, so the big circle right here, right here, is for double dutch. So they'll stand in the middle, and everybody will come in, and they'll do their double dutch and jump roping and stuff like that. And the same thing is down there too as well. So, um, and then over here, you know, this is so overgrown too, down here. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, take care of it. Um, it looked like they had some basketball courts right here, cause it's like the half court mark, basketball, basketball. It looked like they took down the rims and stuff for the kids in the community you know so because over there those are the townhouses over there where the kids would want to come over here to play and then on the other side of here as i showed you in the last video it's an apartment complex over here and it's a another townhouses all the way over there so you know uh i'm gonna just you know go ahead and get started and you know what to do um you know what to do so i'm gonna go ahead and get started see you in a minute love you
Well, as you can see, I got caught up in the rain and started raining on me. Uh, I'ma sit back and cool out for a minute to see if it uh see if it slows down a little bit. Um as y'all saw that playground area, um they can come by and they can do uh roundup treatments or or however it may be to keep it from coming back. They can put the wood chips down to keep it from uh, looking so like a hot mess. But my question is, how do we keep it from getting like that? that, that that's my whole, my whole uh, thing in a nutshell is it, 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 it shouldn't get like that. And, I, and I'm trying to figure out a way where it can, um, be maintained on a regular basis. Um, I know that, you know, in our part of the state that the janitors are, you know, responsible for maintaining the grounds and they may contract uh, certain contractors to do the outside, you know what I mean? Like the common grounds or something like that, like the big you know, uh, fields and football fields and stuff like that. But the main area, like around the school, the janitor does that. And my question is, how does the janitor maintain the whole outside, the playground areas and everything like that and still have to maintain the inside? So if you got maybe two janitors that are working, how is that possible? because there are things on the inside that has to be taken care of as well as things on the outside. So it seems like, you know, maybe there's a way to contract, you know, the people that does the common grounds to take care of the school per se and have the janitors focus mainly on making sure the inside of the schools are good. So, you know, I, it's just something that I was just, you know, pondering around because as I do these schools and see how these schools are, it seems like, you know, uh, uh, they're swamped and they don't have the necessary tools and resources to get it done. So if you can leave a comment below and, you know, shoot me some uh, thoughts or what you think or what's going on in your city or how your city does it or however it may be, now, I'm not a politician. I, you know, far as wise, you know, what they do with the money, how the money is budgeted, how to, you know, however it may be, I don't know. But I know that each school gets budgeted a, a certain amount of money. But it's not enough to take care of the inside and 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 outside. If I can get my hands on 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 the specific number, I'll I'll do it. But I know for a fact it's not enough to take care of the inside and and, and the outside like it's supposed to be. You know. So you know, if you all got any comments, if you anybody got any feedback of something that we can implement or something that they're doing in your city or your state uh your part of the world that's keeping the schools maintained um i'm all for it um to hearing it and maybe you know i can present it and maybe we can do something to keep these schools uh on the up and up um i know some of you all said that uh in your area you know the schools are maintained I know certain areas the schools aren't maintained, um, but you know if you if you all have any comments, any feedback, whatever it may be, where we can get this maintained on a regular basis. Hey, I'm here all for it. Okay, so it looks like it's trying to let up a little bit, um, a little bit. Um, I may have to come back tomorrow and uh, finish up or the day after that and finish up or something like that. Um, but as y'all saw, you know, the playground I did last week and the playground that I'm doing now and the parking lot that I'm trying to do, it's, 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 some, something has to give with this, you know, and as long as I got breath in my body, I'm here for it. 
and once they figure out that I'm the solution to the problem, hey, you know, we, I, I think we're going to keep doing this, but I know I am the solution to this, you know, beautification problem. And I'm going to keep on pushing until they realize, you know, what's really going on. All right. So uh, I, 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 I would appreciate the comments below. Um, I'm going to sit back tight to see if this rain let up a little bit. Um, as you can see, you know, it is pretty much coming down, you know, so, um, and the grounds are wet. So, uh, you know, it can be pretty much a pain trying to cut and weed whack and blow down wet grass. But if I can get out here and do it, I will. If not, I'll come back and, and finish up. All right. So, and I know I didn't do it, you know, in the beginning, but, you know, if you can, subscribe to the channel, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback in my opinion. How about the channel a little bit, it'd be very much appreciated. All right, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well, so you'll be abreast of what Next Generation got to offer. If you're on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Next Generation Landscaping. All right, so I'm going to sit back to see if this rain let up. If it don't, I'll come back tomorrow or the next day to finish up the uh, the playground area uh, in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the concrete area where they, you know, do their hopscotch and then double dutching and jump roping and all that other stuff in between. All right, so um, if I can't get out, I'll see you the next day. All right, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week it may not be an outro but i will have some before and after pics all right so if i don't have an outro i just want everyone to have a beautiful rest of your week and i'll see you next wednesday people and like i said before it may not seem like we're making a difference now but we are making a difference one school at a time one school at a time we are making a difference all right i'll see you all next wednesday love you